John Lawrence, and today on HURT News, Historical Universal Reporter Technology. Today is August 4th, 2018. Over 100 years ago, the great Louis Armstrong was born, coming to prominence in the late 1920s as an innovative trumpet and cornet player. Armstrong was born and raised in New Orleans. On New Year's Eve, 1912, he was arrested and sent to the Colored Waifs home for boys. The abundance of years in touring weighed down on Armstrong, and eventually he had his first heart attack in 1959. He later returned to Beth Israel Hospital for heart and kidney problems in 1968. He eventually passed away on July 6, 1971 of a heart attack. After his death, Armstrong's work as an instrumentalist and vocalist continued to have a profound impact on American music. As a black man living and working in a segregated society, he symbolized the civil rights struggle that was part of the changing America in which he lived. Now to my co-host Eddie Shields on 19 50s NAACP era. Thanks, Lawrence. And on other news, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP, was founded February 12, 1909 in New York City. The NAACP was originally called the NNC, or the National Negro Committee. The NAACP focused on bringing about political, educational, social, and economic equality rights of all races. The leader of the NAACP was James J Weldon Johnson. James helped the jo NAACP out significantly by being an author and a lawyer. The NAACP began to publicize the events of the Jim Crow laws that sanctioned racial discrimination. The NAACP devoted much of its energy to publicizing the lynching of blacks throughout the United States. The Supreme Court had ruled that separate schools were acceptable as long as they were separate but equal. One study in 1937 revealed that school spending on pupils in the South was $37.87 per white people compared to the $13.08 per black people. This is HURT, and thank you for tuning in.